Welcome to the kickoff event for One Book Sarasota 2016 for the John D. McDonald Celebration. This is the 13th year that Sarasota County Library System has participated in the One Book, One Community program. Yeah, we've been, we've been talking about John D. McDonald for a couple of years now. Um, you know, he was a kind of a shy person. He put his main character over on the other coast in Fort Lauderdale. So a lot of people may not know that really he had a long history here with Sarasota. So we wanted to kind of bring it back to Sarasota and kind of celebrate his literary legacy. And so tonight was the kickoff. It was great to have Mr. Jakes here, Don Bruins, Mr. Hall, James Hall, and Cal Branch, our McDonald scholar and expert. So it was a great program. Jim, tell me, do you have a favorite John D. book? And today, I was listening, as I was driving across the Everglades, I was listening to Nightmare in Pink, uh, <laughs> the, the second book. Well, John D. is a writer who has accomplished a great many things. He's a master of his craft. He was. He wasn't recognized as fully or as completely as he should have been when he lived. I wish he'd lived another 20 years. He would have found his reputation skyrocketing to what it is today. I don't want you to think after seeing that wonderful presentation that John sold books because of the hot babes on the covers. You know, that's why I started buying them, but I don't think the majority of people did that. So. It, was, it was very good, yeah. I, I've given several talks on McDonald in the past, but this is probably the most number of people at, at one time. And I'm really glad that, uh, that it continues to interest readers. Uh, on the internet, there's a couple, three uh, Travis McGee fan clubs, and uh, one is called The Busted Flush. And a lot of people, uh, I'm always amazed. Every, every three or four years, something new comes up. People get interested in talking about McDonald. Then it fades away, and then suddenly finds something new, and somebody comes in and does it again. And I'm always amazed, because I think that's the staying power of a good author. And that is, you know, what he wrote then is still so relevant to what occurs today. Kind of weird cycle of love for a place, love for Florida that uh, John D. transmitted to me, and I'm, I'm happy to say I've transmitted it to many others. I've been a John D. McDonald fan all my life, and when I started writing, which was 15 books ago, uh, I, you know, I begged, borrowed, and stole from the best, and John D. was one of them. And so uh, the character that I came up with in my first books was loosely based on his Travis McGee character, and. Uh, the same type of person. So no, I, it's, it's been a nice adventure and then to be involved now and I, I did a talk uh, at the Selby uh, about six weeks ago about condominium and uh, so I'm reintroducing myself to the, to the John D. classics. So many people were coming down that road and knocking on the door at all hours, you know, and McDonald was a private person. He wanted to write, period. Well, John, John D. was a, a watershed writer in my in my life, you know, if it were not for him sort of showing the way about how to write crime novels that also had an environmental side set in Florida, I probably would, would not have written the kind of books that I wound up writing. Okay, John D. and me. <laughs> I came here because of John D. I, I knew about Sarasota, about the Liars, one of the other members of the Liars, a good friend of mine. So we talked a lot about John D, and that's the reason I'm here, instead of in the villages. <laughs> and I think the Selby Library and taking care of and getting, setting it up for this sort of thing, uh, we have a good chance for Sarasotans who did not know McDonald will now know about him and perhaps read and, and continue his, uh, his, his fame on to the future. Does anybody have any questions about John D? I think that's, I think it's much deserved, uh, and it's, if it helps bring more readers to John D, that's great because um, his message is uh, about the environment and about Florida and about construction and, and everything really are as timely now as they were when he wrote the books 10, 20, 30 years ago. In 1954, up in Pasico Lake where they had the cottage, John D had made it to go out and he burned 800,000 words. 
I mean, that's what's great about this is because this is the 100th anniversary of John D. McDonald's birth, and he was probably the most famous author, one of the most famous authors associated with the city of Sarasota. So it's great that we're able to honor him with this, and this is just the kickoff. We've got seven months of programs coming up, a lot of fun stuff going on, so it's great to be a part of it all. Thank you again very much. Thank <laughs> you.